Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how to set up self-hosted Linux GitHub Actions Runner on AWS EC2 in private subnet. To execute your GitHub Actions pipeline, you can actually install Actions Runner on Windows or Linux or Mac OS. If you go to GitHub Organization Settings under Actions Runners, you can see it already provides a GitHub hosted runner. And if you click on New Runner, you can get option for new self-hosted runner. It provides details on how you can install and configure a runner on different OS. Today's session we'll see how this can be done on Linux box. To install and configure Actions Runner on Linux box, we'll follow this setup. We have a VPC, a public subnet, private subnet. We'll provision one VM in private subnet called GitHub Runner. We'll download the runner and configure on this VM. Because this is in private subnet, to get access to GitHub, it will go through Net Gateway. So we'll provision a Net Gateway. Also, to access GitHub Runner VM, we'll provision a Bastion box in public subnet, which we will access through our laptop. And I'm going to connect to this Bastion through PuTTY, and then I will configure everything on this Linux box. So let me show you the resources which are created. Here you can see in AWS, I created Bastion VM and this one is in public subnet and it has got a public IP DNS and GitHub Runner Linux. This one is only having private IP address, no public DNS for it. And then in BPC under net gateways, we have net gateway here made available. And in subnets, I have two private subnets, two public subnets and this private one and private two subnets, they have the same route table attached to it and if we see in the route table under routes the routes are through net gateway so there is no internet gateway now this setup now we'll connect to bastion server and through bastion we'll log into github runner and download the runner and configure it on it so let's use putty to log into bastion server i've already saved the login details so now we are logged into bastion and from here we'll ssh into linux box where github runner will be downloaded and configured so now we are in linux box if you see 3.93 and that's the one which we have for Linux. Now let's go back to GitHub organization and here you see under Linux, we have these commands to download. So we'll copy the first one, which will create the actions runner folder and then it will cd into it. Then next is we download the runner package. And now if you see it is downloaded, this is optional whether you want to validate the hash I don't want to then we'll just extract the installer and if you see everything is extracted it created bin folder config.sh environment.sh and some other folders so now we'll configure this runner and these are the two steps first one is to config.sh with url to your organization github organization and it passes a token this is the one which will be used to register your runner with github we'll copy this command and we'll run here. So it has thrown some message missing. Okay, so whatever image I'm using, it is missing some .NET Core dependencies. I will quickly pause and find out the command to install this, then start again. Okay, so I have found the command to install this particular library, which was missing. This dependency is missing in the image which I use for this Linux box. So I will just run this and hopefully once it installs, then it should be able to configure. So it is installed now and now we'll run the config command again. So it is authenticating using this token. Authentic authentication has gone through asking for enter the name of the runner group to add this runner to. Now, if you are using free GitHub license, then you will not have option to add runner group. You have to press enter so that your runner goes into default group. But if you are on enterprise account, then under actions, you will see you will have runner groups option here. Where actually you can create runner group. The way I have created here, a new group Linux. 
so if i provide runner group as linux my actions runner will configure under this particular group and later on you will find benefits of grouping your runners when you run your pipelines and your jobs you can actually assign your jobs to specific runners so here i will give name as linux but if you don't have options for runner group you have to just press enter enter the name of runner press enter for this so normally this will show the ip of your runner which is okay or you can add some readable text for understanding which runner is this for now i'll just press enter and then you can add some more labels to your runner enter runner successfully added so configuration is done now it is asking for what will be the working directory for your runner i'll keep underscore work as is but you can change also if settings saved so runner is now configured now we'll see how to run this if you go back to runners on this page actually just now if you see here under actions runners it's already showing here but it is offline runner is not up and running right now so i will run this command for linux to to start the runner connect it to github and now it is listening for jobs if you go back here runners so here if you see it's showing green and it's now listening for jobs so that's it this is the way we can configure our github runner on linux i hope this helped you to understand and you can set up your own self-hosted linux github actions runner we'll see you in the next session thanks for watching this